What's going on everybody? Tanner here with another video. Hope you're all having an amazing and productive day so far. And in yesterday's video, we did a store review. So you saw some okay stores, some bad ones, some good ones, but a lot of people asked to see what a real good store looks like. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, going over a store that has made well over $100 million and started out drop shipping. So we're gonna be getting into all of that. Um, the first thing we gotta do is announce the $100 giveaway for today. So here we are on my channel. We'll go to the recent video from yesterday, the store review, and we'll scroll down. And we'll load all the comments. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, we have all the comments loaded here for the specific video. This is how I've been choosing the winners. I'm just gonna scroll through. I'm gonna choose a random one here, completely by random. We're gonna go one, two, three. All right, right here, Justin Law. Congrats to you for winning $100 on today's video. There'll be information in the description on how you can claim your $100. So congrats to you. We'll check to make sure you are verified and followed all steps. And then we'll send you the money via PayPal. So if you want to enter, you can go to the description, nextgenecom.com slash every day. And you'll be able to join. It's just these simple steps right here. And you have to click this button to go ahead and enter. And no, you don't have to put your email or anything like that. And if you want to see who some of the winners are, I've been uploading videos. I'm waiting for the other people to send me videos. Um, this is what we have so far. And March 25th never got claimed, so I think I'm going to have to go ahead and actually um, extend it a day to give away that $100 that wasn't claimed. But now, let's get into this video. This right here is Ben Francis. He's the founder of one of the fastest growing companies within the UK that I'm sure you have heard of, Gymshark. It's a big brand. They're hosted on Shopify, and they have made lots and lots of money selling gym apparel. But it didn't always start just by having their own warehouse and doing all that stuff. Obviously, there's levels to these things, and they had to start from somewhere. And where he started, you know, reading a little bit about his story, you know, he actually has a really awesome story if you want to look more into it. But just reading here on this one little article about him and his story a little bit, um, you know, a couple of things he started doing was creating apps, selling car license plates. And then in 2012, let's see, it's 2019 now, he founded Gymshark. Um, but what he was doing at first was just selling health supplements, you know, not the, the t-shirts, the leggings and all that, you know, fitness apparel. It was more just focused on health supplements. And as you can see right here, I found it interesting. He actually was dropshipping the products. A lot of people think like dropshipping is like a brand new thing. Um, and as far as like the whole online method of it, dropshipping with these custom e-com stores, um, it is pretty new. But as far as the overall business model of dropshipping, it is, you know, dated way back. So. Um, you know what he was doing when he had zero funding he was drop shipping products from other retailers selling the health supplements So my guess is maybe he was selling you know vitamins and stuff on a store And then he would buy it from a wholesaler or from a store You know for cheaper than what he was selling it for and would fulfill it that way um, One of the things he said is you have to be creative with the front end and back end of your business when starting and that's completely true um, You know because if you're doing what everybody else is doing you're obviously not going to get a different result because quote Albert Einstein has is the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Um, so if you want more on his story, um, just look him up, I guess, Jim Shark founder. But I wanted to show you guys what their actual website looks like. Now, obviously, it has been messed with a lot over the years because it started in 2012. I'm sure so much has changed since the initial launch of Jim Shark. But I wanted to show you the initial structure and some key things that are important to building your own store. And when a lot of people ask me about general store, niche store, one product store, what should I do? I honestly truly believe um, you should either go with a general store or niche store because the thing with a one product store, I had a good friend, Jonathan Zamora, talk about this on his Instagram stories last night. Um, he said he hates one product stores because it's like the trendy cool thing everybody's doing right now. But the thing is they die out so quick because in order to sustain growth with a one product store, you're gonna need good shipping times, a good valuable product offering a solution to your customers, and understanding constant growth opportunities. And one thing with most people's dropshipping stores that die out quick is because you know they don't have good shipping times. It's hard to build a brand around a one product store when you don't have good shipping times, your product quality isn't the best, and you aren't really always focusing on the next step of trying new creators and things like that to keep a one product store going. Obviously, you can make a lot of money with them um, drop shipping normally, when it comes down to some of those key variables of building a brand, it's hard to sustain a one product store. Let's say, for example, you have a niche store or a general store, you have multiple products in there that can hold you up and help you sustain over time and eventually transition and reinvest your profits to create an actual brand. You know, maybe you have one product that does very, very well, which I've done this before, and then turn that into a one product store and then buy inventory so it does turn into, you know, like an actual brand where the quality check is there and the shipping times are there, and it's easy to sustain and have your customers stay happy. Um, but let's go ahead and go through some of these things here. And this is a Shopify store, it's hosted on Shopify. If you ever wanna go ahead and look at the top Shopify stores to sort of 
you know, see where they're at and see what stores are doing best. You can just go here to myip.ms. Just look up myip.ms uh, Shopify. Gymshark is actually the number 11th store hosted on Shopify as far as traffic goes. But if you ever want some pointers um, and learning from people that are very successful with their own stores, then go ahead here and check out these sites. But let's go over their website. What makes people want to buy from this? Obviously, there's more than just the initial website design, but the design plays a role in it that is obviously important. And just one quick thing I always keep in mind when building a store, looking at other people's stores, is that you know the easier it is for your customer to go on your store and navigate and find a product and buy a product, then the more sales you're going to get because if you make it complicated too much information i see this all the time or you know too little where it just doesn't look credible at all then you know it's going to be more difficult to continuously make sales the main things i would say um that allow for this store to do very well as far as the design goes is just the simplicity now you see this store doing hundreds of millions of dollars and it's like it's basic it's simple the colors are clean they make sense but all they're doing is just you know offering some Testimonials, I guess you could say, as far as a clothing brand. When you have pictures of people wearing your clothes, it's sort of considered a testimonial, I guess. Um, and you see the way how they structure this with the plates here on the barbell, and then the white text goes over it perfectly so it's easy to see. And it's not all over the place. The fonts correlate. That's a big thing we talked about yesterday. And the store review is the fonts not correlating in the colors. But this makes sense. And as far as the simplicity of it is, you know, they just have the products here. If you want to see some new releases, go ahead, scroll down a little bit. Um, you know, I think leggings are probably going to be one of their best sellers here and they keep it simple for you to navigate and find what you are looking for men's women's and look at the navigation how simple it is men's women's accessories now it sort of looks like the debut theme which is funny um, but it's like it's simple it makes sense and it's not all over the place and at the bottom they have this stuff that's important it started from the top here let's go to men's and you know what do i want what do i want they want some swimwear you know the summer's coming up i want to look good not a bunch distracting you it's super simple it makes it easy for customers to make a decision now notice how it's not like a normal drop shipping store with all of the scarcity timers and all these different things they have the information and reviews which is one of the most important parts for credibility here um and as far as description goes for clothing brands i don't think it's as important um, as a product that offers a specific solution for descriptions because obviously they just have it very simple but i'm sure like a store like this, when you have this many products, um, you don't want to be just writing super long descriptions all the time. You want to keep it simple. So what is this? Let's go ahead and see what we can get for an element base layer t-shirt. Now it's crazy. This brand actually, they sell out so fast all the time of their product releases, which goes to show what happens when you just build an actual brand. Um, it's the same thing with all these other brands out there like Off-White and Yeezys and things when they sell out so quick. Um, but it's basic and it gets straight to the point. There's not a ton for people to get distracted super easily. You know, if you're going on a random drop shipping store, most of the time there's going to be so many things distracting you, whether it's email pop-ups or, um, suggested products or anything like that. But when you go here, it's like, all right, you know where to go for what you want to find. And once you find what you want, it's easy to buy. There's not a bunch of things, a bunch of upsells and things like that. I mean, we can see if they have upsells, man, everything's sold out on here. Let's add it to cart easy straight to the point so i can check out and i can buy my bathing suit now i'm curious to see if they're going to uh retarget me here that'll be funny so i'm not going to drag this on it makes sense it's simple and it gets to the point i think that's how e-commerce stores should be you're making the decisions easy for the customer and you're offering your solution now with the clothing brand is obviously different than um, you know, multiple products that are for specific uses. But you get the point of offering what needs to be offered right in front of these people's faces. Um, and just one quick note before we end off this video here, I want to let you guys know that my course, Next Generation E-Commerce, is 50% off until June 1st with over 80 plus videos. I've invested a lot of my own money building this course up by flying in multiple young entrepreneurs and probably some people that you actually know. So go ahead to this page. There's going to be a link in the description. You can check it out. And this video is going up on Wednesday. Um, so I'll be going live tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern if you're watching this video on Wednesday and um, you can check it out. And if you get in, join the Facebook group and we'll see you in the live stream. But hopefully you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Peace.